Hello. In this uh, video of our series of how to do basic calculus on Mathematica, today we're going to be doing a piecewise function. A lot of people find them very overwhelming. I did myself, but now once you get more familiar with them, you find them just as easy as any other. This one also, uh, we're going to be getting the one-sided limit, both from the left and from the right and on it and the value of f and you will see how you can do both the piecewise and the one-sided limits both in this one problem on Mathematica. So first thing first uh, we're gonna go ahead and define our function so it's gonna be f of x just like any other underscore close the bracket set up the rule by column equals and now say piecewise which is a command press enter if you want to take it from the suggestions open the bracket and start uh, defining your functions. However, since you have two functions, they're going to have to be between squiggly brackets. And since there's two of them, you're going to have double bracket, double squiggly brackets on both sides. And you'll see what I mean. So let's go ahead and keep on defining our first function. It's 2x plus 3. We're just going to type that. 2x plus 3. And then comma. And then we're going to specify the domain of x, which is x. And then shift comma, which gives you the uh, smaller than sign 5 and now close your squiggly bracket press comma start a new one and enter your next function which is negative x plus 12 and comma set up the domain for x x shift period this time 5 and now close your, your this this expression and the whole piecewise function as a whole which justifies the second squiggly bracket and now you're going to close the whole command as a whole, which is why you would press uh, a normal bracket. And now our function is done and ready, so you go ahead and press shift enter. This enters it into the kernel. And now let's see what is um, asked of us. They want us to get the first the limit as 5, uh, as x approaches 5 from the left the limit as x approaches 5 from the right, the limit at 5 as x approaches just 5, uh, and the value, the functional value of 5, uh, of the function at 5. So first off, let's go ahead and for organization's sake, you can go ahead and say limit and get your limit. But in order to get more organized and not lose track of our work, we're going to go ahead and, and name what we're going to do. Uh, so we're going to start with a, which is going to be, um, if you would like, you can press Alt 5 and then do A like this for extra organization. Now go ahead and say, uh, since the A says X approaches 5 uh, from the left, which is the negative sign, go ahead and say left limit without any capital letter equals, and this is going to be our left limit, our left limit equals to the limit of F of X as x approaches, which is dash, shift, period, gives you the arrow, uh, as x approaches 5, and then another comma, and now you specify the direction, which is by typing the command direction, press enter, and then it gives you two options from above, from below, or you can opt to say a negative 1 or, neg uh, or positive 1, which also specifies um, the direction, but for simplicity's sake, let's skip Let's stick with uh, what Mathematica here suggested. So you need to memorize that from above means that it's the right limit. From below, it's the left limit. So press arrow down, pick from below since we're doing the left limit. Enter, close your bracket, shift enter. And this is your left limit of this piecewise function as, it's appro uh, as it approaches 5 from the direction below, which is left. Now let's go ahead and, if you would like, press Alt 5, save B. And then arrow down. Now go ahead and define your second uh, limit, which is right limit equals limit as f of x x appro uh, limit of f of x as x approaches dash shift period gives you the arrow five. However, this time direction is from above, which gives you the right limit. Shift enter, and this is your right limit equals to 7. Now we go ahead and make this section, call it C, 
press arrow down. Now they want the limit at 5. So we go ahead, I mean right off the bat we know that there is no limit since the left and right side um, don't match. But for the question 6 we're going to go ahead and find the limit at 5. So we're going to say, you can say limit at 5 or you can not, but sure, limit at 5 equals limit as f of x approaches 5. And since there's no direction, you skip that part, shift enter, and you get that it's an indeterminate. Uh, you can see how you can also get uh, extra suggestions from Mathematica to describe uh, what an indeterminate is. An indeterminate is a symbol that represents a numerical quantity whose magnitude cannot be determined which I guess is nice to have. And now, alas, they want the, um, D asks for the functional value at five. Go ahead, press hold five, gives you the subsection, name it D and say, just simply F of five, shift enter, and this is where you get zero. And that was uh, how you simply define your piecewise function and find the limit from both sides, add it, and the functional value. Thank you. Good luck.